Oh, you know, typical day. Just dumpster diving for old newspapers. Derek thinks he's too good for dumpster diving. This is the weirdest thing I've ever done look, in my life. People read it and they throw it in here. That's all they do. But you don't, look, for example, a pizza box, you don't know what people actually really throw in here. Bet! <laughs> have been pretty crazy around here which is why we missed like two weeks of vlogs I think uh, I went to Boston and then we started packing getting ready for our move but we are leaving Wednesday the 30th last day of September 2015 and we are headed to Fayetteville North Carolina for the next season of our life we're really really excited Derek thinks our cats are going to starve to death, apparently, so hey, just wants to make sure they're prepared. <laughs> I don't know where to put them all. Gemma's going to have to hold some. The time has come and we found a new home for the kittens, for Mama Kitty and the four that we're not keeping. So we're packing them up. They are over there in the barn. We are going to put them over in the car and we're going to head out to the farm that they're going to, so here we go. Kittens are in the car. You see them? They're getting ready to go bye-bye. You think they, can, they can't fit through that, can they? Yeah, they can. But I mean, if she's gonna move that anyways. There they go. And there they are. Mama Kitty's trying to chart the territory. Nice little farm. Yep, she said the thing again. Have a couple things we want to try to fix before we leave the house. One of them being this cracked frame on the door. Second project is in the girls room aka my old office. I <laughs> So originally when I tried to hang my whiteboard um, I didn't realize there was a metal frame behind all of the walls So like in old houses, I guess they used to put like metal sheet metal behind the walls or something like that I don't know why insulation whatever. So <laughs> I have this giant uh, Let me see if you can see it closer giant hole up here so here's a preview of my fixed job. It looks kind of dirty right now. It's gross, but it will get sanded off and maybe one more coat and then painted. And then in here, looks like it's starting to dry. It starts off pink and then dries white. So this one was so big it had to have a screen over it. That one was small enough it didn't need the screen, but sand that mug down, sand over it, or I mean paint over it, and we are good. What are you doing, buddy? Taking a breathing treatment, huh? Help you with your wheezing a little bit. Mouth is a little small, but yeah. that's all they had. Gemma. Gem beanie. Gem girly girl. Oh! You gonna roll over? You gonna roll over for daddy? Are you gonna roll over, baby? Well, that was pretty awesome. As you can see, leaving the Ventrac facility. Anytime I can get a chance to dive deeper into my clients' businesses and develop a further relationship, I just love doing that. That's really why I'm into marketing and business. One of the verticals that I work in uh, is specialty manufacturing. So seeing the process from start to finish, not only on the manufacturing side, but from the sales and the marketing side as well, um, and the customer relationship management, some of the things that they're developing product-wise, it's a really cool experience.
marketing companies or do similar work, whether you're designers, whether you're programmers, uh, take the time to try to develop a few of your relationships, if not as many as you can, uh, on a really deep level, and you'll be surprised on how much gratification it brings to your work. Here at another one of my clients today, gonna finish up some advertising and marketing strategy for these guys. Jim's Transmission, awesome business in uh, Downton, Ohio. Well, thank you everybody for watching this episode. We don't know if we're going to be able to stay consistent over the next week or so as we're traveling, but we will update you guys with another vlog once we are in South Carolina and we'll show you, or in North Carolina, and we'll show you kind of the entire trip and our way down there and moving into the new house, which is really pretty, and we have a backyard and a play set for the kids and stuff. So it's going to be really exciting, and we'll show you guys how all of that looks. This is going to be our way of staying in connection with some of the people back in Ohio um, and just kind of having a visual, I guess, relationship or a virtual relationship. But this is us living it out. And remember that together we are going to live it out.